Howdy, y'all. Good morning, guys. We are pushing through this, and we're just gonna keep going forward. It's time to move on, and we've got to we got to get the show on the road. Yeah, we can't we can't hang around for too much longer. We are picking up the Hummer today. The Bear Jew is alive. Ready for the big reveal? Y'all ready? Y'all ain't ready. We're not ready, <laughs> but it's ready. You ready? All right. does this look I mean it's amazing Kelly's loving the new wheels and we had to get new wheels we've gone with the black rhino hard alloy and I think these are called like battle warrior or something like that but we had to get new wheels because the front right one was completely cracked we were going to weld it no way to fix it and the wheel is no longer made because it's 11 years old we bought the wheels and put them on the vehicle back in 2010 so we had I guess we had to get new wheels the good thing is is that the wheels were corroding and they were going bad anyway, so we had to get new wheels. Here's the cool part. You remember where I told y'all that there is something that we're adding to it that's making it stronger than ever? This is it. So back in June, we had an overheating issue pulling the trailer when we went up a mountain. And then my dad and I were talking about how can we overcome this? We found a gentleman in Chicago that custom built radiators. So we have a custom built radiator in here now that we had ordered back in June. So we had to get this thing fixed. Look at this thing all aluminum see the problem with hummer h3s and then the chevy colorados which this is based off of as well is that it had a plastic cap radiator and it kept cracking i have to replace three radiators everything else in this engine has been great but the plastic cap kept cracking and so we got rid of the clutch fan the pulley's still there but we got rid of that and it's two electric fans that kick on when the ac kicks on or whenever it has a sensor in it that uh, determines how hot the engine is and it will kick on quicker. Our clutch fan was not kicking on quick enough and it would almost already be overheating before the clutch fan would go in and it didn't pull in enough air. This is so powerful that the guys were throw sent me a video, which I'll put in right now, of them throwing a towel, a wadded up towel, and it's sucking the towel to through the radiator. Or not through it, but up it. to the front flush. <laughs> When he was talking about the air conditioner, I had no idea that the air conditioner had anything to do with the radiator, but I know that when um, it would look like it was about to overheat, he would tell us we have to turn the air, the air conditioner off inside the vehicle. So I had no idea that it had anything to do with it. And so now when it's hot outside, we don't have to turn the air off. <laughs> So this is awesome. This is going to really help pulling the trailer and um, getting us where we need to go on these dirt roads. So and this is awesome. What else with the air conditioning? You see the air conditioning causes the engine to run harder, especially whenever it's setting still and it's not pulling air through the radiator. Now that this is put in here with these electric fans, it will pull as much air setting still as it would us driving. And, uh, down the road to try to cool it off so we can set still now and go at low idles and be pulling the trailer over truff, rough terrain and just not worry about the high rpms because that's what happened is that we were pulling it at a low rpms up a mountain and it started overheating the clutch fan wouldn't kick in and i couldn't drive any faster because of the terrain that when we got to the top of the mountain i had to open up the hood and let it set for an hour to cool off not no more yeah so super exciting y'all this is a, a first big step <laughs> for us to get back on the road i feel like we're starting all over again i feel like this is like I'm excited. the beginning of summer all over oh, again and show them the front end so this oh, was a yeah. complete accident i asked so we ordered all this off ebay we found everything off ebay our friend wade ordered it all for us but wade i told wade i said brother please get us some fog lights too he ended up getting these amazing aftermarket uh, fog lights with a halo it looks amazing 
and I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be uh, regular old fog lights. Not no more. And this was all loose originally because I, yep. I had hit a lot of things out in the forest. That's how she got the name, the Bear Jew, is because everything in the forest feared her. Well, she had some loose parts. Now she is tight, tight. So a good thing about the new fog lights and the headlights is that we can now see in the dark. We had a major issue with trying to see um, when we're driving at night. That was a really big issue. We we're thinking about getting a light bar. We're actually going to start um, right here. We're still thinking about doing a light bar yeah. right here. We're going to see how these lights do for now, but a light bar would be pretty awesome to add in the future. So we're excited. We're so happy. We're so happy. Where's Jack and Yeah, Olaf? so we wanted to put Jack and Olaf in the vlog so we can tell them thank you. This is Olaf. This is one of the most amazing guys in the world when it comes to mechanics. He's the one who's done all the work for us on the Hummer in the past. Olaf, thank you for everything, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cool. <laughs> and he's a really awesome welder, too. He does yeah. really good work. Oh, yeah. He thank does you. amazing yeah. weld work. So <laughs> right. let's go. I appreciate it. Oh, oh hey, thank, thank you. you so much. But he's busy. He's got to get this car out, and yeah. we're going to go say we gotta, thank you to Jack. Yeah, we got to talk to Jack. This is the champ who organized everything for Olaf to do. He, he did so much for us. I love this guy. It worked yeah. out. Give me a hug. And everything worked out so good. Yeah. So if you're ever in Little Rock and you need any work done under the hood or with your tires, All About Tire and Brake is the place to come. And ask for Jack. He'll help yep. you out. Definitely. <laughs> we just got a phone call from the bike shop. And Which is weird. I wasn't yeah. expecting I thought we were about to go see them. They actually, there was another um, break-in, and the people that they caught actually had Cody's brand new bike in the back of their truck. So we're actually headed to the bike shop right now yeah. to talk to them. And we'll tell y'all more about the details. And we'll let you know more when we get there. We're at the bike shop, and we spoke to the sheriff, who is now on the phone with the park rangers um, that we spoke to on Friday, and we've been talking to all weekend. Um, they did find Cody's bike in the back of a truck behind someone's property with another robbery. So these guys apparently robbed another house, fled the scene when a dog chased after them, and when they got to the scene, the truck was there and the bike was in there. Along with some other stuff, they have not gone through it yet, so we're gonna compile a list of things for him, the officer, so that if they find anything else, he can let us know. So this is really good news and we're super excited about it. So we're hoping, like we said, today was gonna be a good day. We got the Hummer back, we have this news, so we're just gonna stay positive. Completely did not expect to get a phone call from the bike shop we were about to drive to, we were on our way here to talk to him about, you know, bikes and what, what we could do to work something out with them. And I got a phone call from Eric, who's our buddy who, this is Eric's truck and he bought our truck. Bought our house. Or bought our house from us. So he's a good friend of ours. He bought our house. And he's like, Cody, we got a sheriff here that says they found your bike. And I was like, what? No way. So he came this way and now we're just hoping it can lead to something else because it looks right. like it went south of well, where we were and the sheriff said that um they're going to actually do a search of the truck and so anything else that was in there that was ours we can come and reclaim our property um of course you know we have all pictures and documentation and videos of us having all of that stuff so we're just in good hopes we keep our fingers crossed we're gonna go get something to eat at one of our favorite places we're starving a little greek we'll continue solid on. yeah One of the best, quickest meals in town. Yeah, so good. So now, since we're on a high right now of excitement, thinking things could change. Uh, we know. have a lot of errands we've got to run. Uh, we've got to go by the storage unit and get the number for my bike. A serial no, number? Serial number. Serial number, yeah. Um, and then we've got to, if, uh, run and get a couple of things from Walmart that we need to replenish. Oh, show them how good it looks still from behind. Oh yeah. Look how good she looks from behind, guys. Ah, ah. We do not have Kelly's uh, VIN number. So y'all make sure you always keep your paperwork on your bike. Our bike shop. I usually do, but since we moved, I kind of cleaned out the, the 
file cabinet and just got rid of stuff that I just was like, you know, we don't need, I guess. Um, and I'm assuming with her bike being about four or five years old, I think it's about that old, isn't it? Uh, probably three years three old, years I old. would think. Yeah, just about three. And they couldn't find it in their records at the bike shop. I think they only keep their records for three years. So they don't have too much data in their system that slows it down. Yeah. So we talked to the sheriff and uh, he said it's good for us to come to the record service yard and we're fisting to leave and go do that. We'll see you there. So we are here and what we have received is my mountain bike. It's got a few scuffs on it. I haven't got to ride it yet. I don't know if I told y'all, but the day, the morning that I had the car wreck, I had just left the bike rack, bike shop after having the same bike for 11 years and cracked it and had just bought this. I haven't even got to ride this yet. And we've got my mountain bike shoes and only Kelly's helmet, yeah, not my helmet. Is. And uh, my mountain bike shoes, we got our shovel, which oh Kelly God, was freaking shovel. out because <laughs> we, we cannot find the shovel again. We've already started looking, so we've got this this sh sh well you know it's a shovel <laughs> and then some of my cooking utensils we got the new knife back yes and those knives which need that all needs to be cleaned yeah, this is very disgusting. very cleaned so yes we are grateful that sheriff harris is the one who recovered the vehicle and helped us get some of our belongings back we hope that we can get more belongings back we're just hopeful um, and we're just gonna keep pressing forward. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you are very so welcome. much. Y'all yeah. are very welcome. So yeah, maybe we can find the rest of the stuff. I know? got a feeling so, that this is a good so. start. Yeah, so good yeah, me too. Lead. Yeah, we'll right. see what we can work with our partners at State Parks and yeah. Perry County Sheriff's Office, see what we can get. Okay, um, we appreciate so, yeah. it. You're yeah, here, you're, y'all are welcome, man. <laughs> thank you. Not a fellow biker could help, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. so it's crazy. He's a mountain biker. Don't tell me divine intervention doesn't work because we had just <laughs> left the shop was rolling out to go talk to the bike shop and a mountain biker who's a sheriff saw the bike and said man i don't think that bike belongs with this vehicle that we that we found so he went to the bike shop and said hey i found a bike and bam they called me as i was driving there tell me it's not <laughs> how awesome is that it's right? pretty darn cool it's crazy <laughs> all right so we got the bike back we got all that cool stuff back but we're about to go back to the bike shop because the front skewer, we have a through axle on my mountain bike, the front skewer is not in the vehicle. And we've got a few things that need to be adjusted on it just to make sure it's okay. And then we gotta run some errands. So we'll see y'all in a second. All right, so we told you guys we were gonna run some errands. We are about to go to Walmart, pick up a couple of necessities. So let's go to Walmart and do what we do best. I don't know what we do best. We usually camp, so now things are changing. Yeah, we're just lost and confused. So we picked up some, a broom and dustpan. We got flip-flops to shower in. Yeah. If we stay anywhere we need a shower. And that's something really important because you can't find flip-flops this time of year. Um, and we're, they're just, they're both the same size. They don't even fit me. And um, I'm rubber a rubber mallet because we're going to have to Because we in still our tent. have our big tent. And we don't have a rubber mallet. And we got body wash because my body wash got stolen. I don't even know if we told you why we're getting all this in such a hurry. Did we? We haven't no. said it. Well, we found our trailer. Not our trailer. We found a trailer just like ours. Uh, so we can keep, get on the road and keep things going in Knoxville, Tennessee, eight hours from here. Which means we're going to be driving tomorrow morning early from here to there and try to get back as far back to here as we can which means we're probably going to be between here and nashville camping and we need those flip-flops to shower if we're in a shower and place. a mallet to put the stakes in the ground for the tent so that is our plan for now and um if anything changes we'll let you know yeah y'all we're just real scatterbrained right now so everything's it's crazy. crazy this is just crazy i just i need a vacation <laughs> I need a vacation after this. <laughs> Anyways, we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. We got up at 5 a.m. We've already left Little Rock. We're probably an hour east of Little Rock, heading even further east to Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> We're finally going east, y'all. Hey, we've never even been to Tennessee. <laughs> this is going to be a first for us. Can you believe that? Living but in Arkansas, never been to Tennessee. Not for pleasure. We are going for business. We're picking up a new trailer. It is a 2019 No Boundaries Forest River 10.5. Same exact thing we had before. The tongue is different. The tongue is narrower. That's weird. But my dad, um, if you don't know, my dad owns a small RV um, 
center. He says he can still put a two bottle propane mount on the front for us. The company we're buying it from, they were like, I don't see how that's gonna work. But yes, if you don't put a mount on it, it will not work. So my dad says he can put a mount on it with the two 20 pound propanes, that should still work. The company is putting two batteries on the front for us. The guy has sent videos, pictures, everything looks fine. I just hope since we're driving eight hours that everything is fine, that the water tank is not faulty, there's no leaks, um, anything like that. So just keeping our fingers crossed on that. So when I spoke to the insurance company yesterday, I did not, we did not have personal property coverage. We only had the trailer itself coverage. The issue with that is they like to wait three to four weeks just in case the trailer shows up before they issue us a stolen check, like a, it's been stolen, here's a check for the amount of the trailer. So we can't wait around two, three to four weeks. We have to we have to leave Arkansas. We can't stay in Arkansas. Um, it's gonna get really cold and we cannot camp outside every day. The plan is we have to move on. So we have to, I found this other trailer. We have to buy this other trailer. Um, and then if the trailer shows up, the our old trailer, then the insurance company will come out and assess the damage and then cut us a check to repair the damage. Um, and then we would have to wait to get it repaired. In that instance, since my dad owns the small RV company, I'm going to see if he can repair it for us and we will sell the one we're buying now on his lot if the, our trailer shows up. If our trailer does not show up, then insurance will cut us a check and then we can reimburse ourselves for this new trailer that we're buying today. Um, it's crazy, I know, but you know, this is our house. It's just like if, if your house burned down, you wouldn't just not try to you know, rent something or get another house, I guess. I don't know. You have to have somewhere to live. We should hopefully be there before five o'clock today. We're driving to a little southeast of Knoxville, Tennessee to get this other trailer. It was the only one that was in our price range um, and it was the closest one. So that's eight what we're doing. Eight hours. Yep, eight one hours. Way. We're here, we finally made it in Louisville, Tennessee, south of, southeast of Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, but here she is. We did a once over. The doors are in actually in better condition than the other ones that we had. They seal properly, they close better, yeah, the very ones, smooth seal. The ones that we had, we were gonna have to get a whole new door because they were rubbing right here and we were having to start jerking over. Yeah. But if y'all want to see what it looks like before yeah. we actually do anything, it has a bed in there. And it comes with, you know, the rhino rack, it comes with uh, walls. And so we did it. not have walls. So that's going to be really good for when it's cold out. We can put that up with the walls and put the heater in there. The only like imperfection I would see is this right here. But you know what we do with this trailer anyway, it's going to get scuffed up. It has brand new tires on it as well. Has the air conditioner heater, which you know we're gonna take that off and put a max air fan on. Pantry, I've got to find another mat to cut and put in here so my spices do not wiggle waggle around. Dometic refrigerator. I've got my little storage area here again. We open the rhino rack, check that out, and um, two of the legs will not tighten down. But if that's just the only issue, then I mean, I think it's good to go. Oh what yeah, do you think? everything's not perfect. Even a brand new car, when you buy it, has stop leak put in the engine to prevent it from leaking. I didn't know that till recently. But this just makes me feel so much better 
I just feel so much better seeing this trailer. Even though it's not mine, I feel better about it. So yeah, I think it's good to go. I think we're gonna get it. Um, I'm actually gonna run down to the office so I can fill out paperwork and we can get back on the road because we got places to go. You know, we haven't eaten all day either except for Chick-fil-A right before we start talking to y'all. So I'm looking forward to a burger. Honey, can I have a burger? Like a good juicy burger? She said, yeah, I can have whatever I want because I've been driving for eight hours straight like a boss. Sort of. I don't know. All right, we're pulling her behind us and we're going to head back to Arkansas, but I think we're going to lay over in between Nashville, Nashville and Memphis. Um, we found a little campground off the interstate. We're just going to stay there for the night so we don't have to drive all the way back. So it's four hours from here. We're probably going to stop and get a burger, but I guess that's all we have for you. Sorry it's this short, but guys, y'all see, we just got things we gotta do. Yeah, we'll get we'll get back to camping very soon, I promise you. And we'll catch you on the other.